Meet Larry. Hi. For years, Larry's been noticing that things have been changing around him. Go for Larry. Phones got smaller, then larger. And there's still nothing good on TV. Other things have changed in Larry's world. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hi. Yo, what's up? Larry is living in a more diverse world. I get it. So diversity just means it's crowded? Not really, Larry. It means, well, it's the mix of people in a place based on race, culture, and background. Cool. Turns out you can measure it. We've come up with the USA Today Diversity Index. Snazzy. Thanks. It's a way of crunching census numbers on race and ethnic background to see how diverse communities were years ago and how diverse they are now. Using the most recent census numbers and figures on where people are moving and how many babies are born and how many people die, we can even get a pretty good idea of how diverse your state or county will be well into the future. Our calculations give us a number from 0 to 100. A diversity index of 25 means there's a 25% chance that the next person you meet will be a different race or ethnic background. The higher the number, the more diverse the area. I'll show you how the index works. Whoa. So take a look around you. You are in Arizona. Here's a look at how diversity has shifted. Cool. It gets cooler. Think about what this chart is telling you. Why did your family move to Arizona? In 1965. In 1965, your dad had a 20% chance of seeing someone who didn't look like him on the streets of Phoenix. Like this. Today, the likelihood is more like this. In 2060, Arizona could look like this. So, what can this index tell us? It'll tell us where we are and where we've been. We can measure and map the pace of change to chart trends. Cool. I wonder if there'll be anything good on TV in 2060.